Welcome to TerryWilson3.com. This is the Terry Wilson, really. Uh, hey, Tony, this is Terry Wilson with TerryWilson3.com. How are you? you? You personally are calling me the act. Get ready to discover, develop, and monetize your skills and talents with Terry Wilson. Thank Christopher B. This is Terry Wilson, and you are in the studios with us tonight at TerryWilson3.com. I hope everyone out in TW3 world is doing well welcome aboard all the tw3 family thomas bell john kennison willie jackson thomas bell again uh let's see here william wade tom sellers from chi town my mom all the way up in uh, virginia is in tonight so i'm gonna be on my best behavior mom's watching <laughs> and andrew sawhill don captain quackenbush is in the house and miss spelling bee did you know miss spelling bee lives in san antonio I did not know that. I she, did not know that. She either. lives in San Antonio, which is different than uh, El Paso. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Because <laughs> <laughs> the, the events of what happened over uh, the week. Right. I saw that and I go, oh, I better reach out to Miss Spelling Bee, make sure everything's okay. And then I did. And she goes, you realize well, it's a different place. She goes, well, that's hundreds. <laughs> and I go, oh, that's right. You're San Antonio. Remember yeah. the mountain. <laughs> so I'm glad I, she was good. Though. I felt like a hill. <laughs> well, yeah, she's laughing. She said, geography's hard. <laughs> yeah. She said, spelling, math and geography. I'm telling you folks, <laughs> if I can do it, no one here <clears> has <throat> an excuse because Miss Spelling Bee's right. I'm Your sure. math is surprisingly okay. No. No, 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 no. Because no. last week, I, I was like, Terry, you're like $125 off on this transaction. He's like, uh, oh, am I? Uh, I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I resent the compliment. Never mind. <laughs> well, what do you do? I mean, you know. Start your own business. <laughs> I, I really, I, honestly, I just, I look at, toward the heavens and, and give thanks because I don't know how I do what I do. <laughs> Praise the Lord for his favor. Boy, the Lord is good. That's all I can say. But let's, let's introduce introduce the panel before we get going uh too much uh to uh my left all the way from uh chick-fil-a headquarters in <laughs> georgia i don't want chris's you win music again? <laughs> i don't want chris's music cue me up something else <laughs> you want something else let's yeah. see here well, there, there you go, go. You, want that? That? That's fine. you like Wait, that? did you go back to atlanta no oh okay this is just now my introduction i guess <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> from yardbird headquarters uh, the uh, tyrant of tickets, uh, my son and whom I'm well please. I'm trying to think of all my cliches here. As you can tell, it's been a long day. Reagan, how you doing? <laughs> save good. save good. me here. I'm a little congested, so I'm sorry if that annoys people. I know some people have a... It's, a, it's like an OCD. It's like a tick. Whenever they hear like a... a Raspiness. Raspy voice, it like drives them insane. I have something like that where I hear people eat and it bothers me. So if there's anybody that's like that, I'd what is that? What is that, um, that thing where people talk really like this? In ASMR? ASMR, you know. Why are like you wearing either. a hood? I'm sorry. Uh, he's cold. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he is. He has. Are we laundry. sick? Him I and, still need laundry, so it's basically like this is all I have right now. Him and his mother. It has to be 85, 90 degrees and humid for them to be comfortable. Can I tell you a story real quick? Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> um, okay, so Justin taught me how to adjust the. We have this thermostat that's like a computer. Right. And he taught me how to, like, I put my finger on it and I push it up to turn it up in Is the mornings. A, a nest? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Maybe yeah. so. And so today I did that and I go in the pantry and I go right. in my office and I, I texted him. I said, hey, babe, can you check that app that you have and tell me if I turn the heat on or something? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, babe, you turned it to 84 degrees. Ew. And I was like, what? <laughs> Because, like, the whole house was smelling. You know how it smells yeah, the first time? Yeah, because you're burning you... off the dust. 
So I turned on <laughs> the heat, <laughs> and he's like, don't worry, babe, I got you. And he fixed it at work on his Was he able to fix the tire pressure from there? Well, the voice you just heard, ladies hey. and gentlemen. <laughs> and Miss CBD Oil, her mm-hmm. reputation precedes yes. her. Yes. Yes, it uh, does. After a heavy use of CBD oil, she struggles <laughs> with the thermostat at home. Tire pressure on the car. Tire I don't need pressure anything the car. to struggle. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> the difference in the distinctions between software and hardware. The struggle is... Is that going on my list? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're wearing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Justin was like, when I got home, he's like, did you really not know? <laughs> and I was like, babe, you've handled that since we've been married. <laughs> I asked him, I says, now, are you going to work with Lindsay on the distinction between hardware and software? He goes, oh, it was a conversation. (laughs) (laughs) It it, it was a conversation. The thing is, he's like so smart and so short and dry that like when I I I tell him him, I don't understand, he's like, how do you not get that? (laughs) Like, where did you not learn this? Where is this a problem? (laughs) Yeah. But the irony is, is I, I'm giving you a hard time when I obviously can't spell, don't know the location of most places, and, true. and math struggle. So we all have our own struggles. We do. We all have our own struggles. We totally do. Let me Speaking see. of struggles, yes. River. <laughs> it's a river. I liked river. my segue better than I gotta, what you had. I gotta give, oh, this is rivers right here. That's right. Excellent. Excellent. So, River, what's going on with the. Uh, the car <laughs> uh so fun fact guys so you guys know how it broke down like two weeks ago i'm not sure if we told about that or i not. saw it in the driveway though i thought that we yeah had- so yesterday it was a quick fix so it was fine but yesterday i was on this like little circulity loopy thing to get roundabout. on the belt yeah roundabout Thank oh you. i hate those to get on 85 hate and em. in the middle of the circle my car says not today <laughs> and it completely shuts off the engine shuts no. off you can't break in the steering locks up so i couldn't break and i couldn't uh go did fast. you get out and run so you wouldn't no die? i was going like 45 miles an hour so i would have died either way um, <laughs> oh my goodness. um so i'm like turning as hard as i can to get into this like um little house somebody's house and like i pull into their yard because they're you can either get on 85 and get in this way so i pull onto this uh sideway and i get into it splits he takes a right instead of getting on the highway yeah so my car it. almost hits the ditch going into their yard so <laughs> i'm oh, glad it didn't i've hit so many <laughs> so my that. car kind of stops in there uh yeah way in there dog Old bit me to be 16 and my first car and car trouble <laughs> i'm so but sorry that's, oh, no, that's, that's okay. the thing that's though fun. it's not like a like you would expect like a beater almost to kind of do no, that it's a nice car no, it's, it's a nice it's a car Mazda, like oh, a good Mazda. F- funny enough too so i got my car back today it wasn't a big fix you know it was just a place in a, a they new did wiring. this they went exactly exactly <laughs> the way reagan explained it that'll be so, 300 bucks please <laughs> as soon as i get my car back somebody backs into my car when i'm parked <laughs> Stop. parked i'm parked Stop. not even moving <laughs> they back in and i'm in my car waiting for uh, my little brother to get out of karate so i'm just in the car and I'm like listening to a podcast, and I see my rearview mirror, and somebody's backing in to get parked it behind me. It happened at Revolution. Uh, yes, yes, it did. So uh, I'm looking into my rearview mirror, and he won't stop, and he's going like 20 miles an hour to park, and I'm like, that's what? odd. He's going fast, so I'm just like, that's fine. He's parking. <laughs> but then I noticed he's so close to where me and him are looking at each other through the rear view mirrors. <laughs> I'm like, he just kept coming back and back. So I hear the sound of him hitting it, and it shakes my car. <laughs> so I was like. Poor. I'm not even moving. <laughs> Did you go to the chiropractor? You probably need an adjustment. <sighs> probably. He needs More CBD likely. oil. Exactly. Both. So if you could hook me up, <laughs> no, the plug. Right. I could. I've got anyway, supplies. You Just know, Mama said that there'd be days like that, as the old song goes. And that really gets into what we're talking about tonight. Uh, we're talking about work environments and how the culture you create and encourage in your workplace will ultimately decide your profitability, sustainability, and just as importantly, your enjoyability. So uh, I would, to be honest with you, I would place business culture above everything else your business has or offers. I'd place it above the product and the service that you offer, above any special trade secrets and advantages you have in any given field. And, And really, I'd place it above the margins in which you operate. Why do I place so much uh, importance on um, business culture? It's simple. Your work environment, the culture in which you operate within, is going to dictate how long you last in that business, how far do you go in that business, and and ultimately how successful you are in that business. I can't tell you. uh, Just in the last few weeks, I met with a a pastor who is really struggling because he's a – 
what do you call these guys that pastor and they also work full time? They're a co. Uh, there's a word for it, but and he's mm-hmm. one of those that he's got a sizable church. Intermurial. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's not that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, he was talking about the company he's been with for 25 years is uh, sort of uh, trying to push him out. They're not going to fire him, but they're making him miserable. Hmm. Uh, joking with Justin today, you know, we were talking about work environments and the job place and, you know, how, you know, this one, you can get along with this one, but this guy right here, you know, you know, you have that sometimes and it right. don't matter. You can have a great, job a great place of employment but the studies show more people and more people put that at the top of their list than anything else people will take a cut and pay to go work somewhere that it's more enjoyable to work at and it's It's amazing because think about it you spend your entire life or the majority of your life and days and if you don't like the people you're around you don't like Mm -hmm. the culture of the place you don't like whatever it, it's a job at that point. It, That's right. It's really miserable. So tonight we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about uh, how's your work environment and how there's things that you can do yourself right now to help improve your own business culture, your work environment, and what you work in. We're also going to be announcing a, a pay structure change for elite members only that I think people are going to get really excited, Miss Lindsay. Uh, elite members are about to get a big raise. And so we're announcing out. I didn't even tell you that. So Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks for having my back, Big Thanks T. for having my back. <laughs> so we've got that. we got all kinds of things. We're going to be answering your questions. So I know that they're coming in. Guys, so for you guys that have questions, send them in right now. I've got a training that we're going to get into, income hack number 14, I believe it is. In just a few minutes Mm -hmm. uh, that I'm going to show you one of the biggest money makers that I engage in on a weekly basis. You're about to see what I do. And then uh, this Wednesday night, elite members, I'm going to break it down how I do that, how you can do it. And I'm actually going to talk to our regular members as well, because what we're going to show tonight, actually, in some areas and in some uh, spaces that uh, regular reps and even plus members can do this. So this is going to be but in a higher level, we're going to get into it with our mastermind group on a Wednesday night. Uh, tonight will be the last podcast for about a, uh, two weeks. We're taking two weeks off after tonight because we go to uh, Clearwater and then uh, it will be gone for a couple of weeks. Come back for two weeks and then we'll be gone for another two or three weeks in September going to Ireland, Scotland, England, and enjoying a little bit of a European thing there. So just to give you a heads up on the uh <coughs> podcast uh, scheduling and also the membership training scheduling so that's that and i think i've got uh, a couple things lindsay's got and then we'll get into your training yes go to you are worth more book.com right now and get the newly released you are worth more book understand the story behind the brand and the business and if you ever want to have more do more or experience more then you need to get this book Again, go to youareworthmorebook.com and get your signed copy today. Also, do not forget conference tickets to the 2020 You Are Worth More conference are quickly selling out. If you want to meet people just like you who are taking their money, business, and lives to levels only once dreamed about, like me, my business took off at conference number one. Yeah. Side note, that wasn't in my notes. I'm just, that's free. <laughs> yeah. I um, could tell you didn't write that. <laughs> <laughs> it had a cadence that's similar to what I said. <laughs> um, but you guys need to be there for real. It's awesome. Uh, go to worthmoreconference.com and get your tickets today. Absolutely. Cool. And then uh, after our segment two, we're going to be taking your questions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and send those in. Um, the only thing we ask is keep it uh, positive, clean, and relevant. Um, if you're a member and you have membership questions, please save those for Wednesday. Um, but if you're not sure which one it is, just go ahead and send it in. We might, we may not uh, read it, but it's nothing personal. So yeah. Yep. So if you don't get your question read, uh, it does not bother us to uh, you put it back in again because yep. we might have missed it. True. But if if one of the if River or Reagan sends out and say, hey, we'll catch this on Wednesday night, that means it's a membership question that's going to need more specifics than what we give out on our general training uh, on Monday nights and can't do that and on our live podcast. So without further ado, let's get into income hack number. Wait, what? wait, wait, wait. I have the report, the income oh, report. Oh, that's right. Thank you. I Thanks think we were good. supposed to do this last week. We were week supposed and to do it forgot. last week and we forgot. What's, what's my personal income statement for the month of July? $32,535 is Terry's personal income statement for July, 2019. 
July 2019. So guys, uh, what I'm showing you tonight is nothing more than what I do. Okay. What in, in the income you see me, uh, uh, amassing with uh, affiliate marketing, CPA marketing, RMP marketing, direct sales, all of the different things that I do. And that right there is basically my TW3 business is what that is. That's not counting the RMP business. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just a TW3 business. Uh, but everything I do, uh, depending on which level you credential with us is that training, those tools, everything I use is given to you. And then if you're, if you're an elite member, uh, you have every single thing I do, the training, the ins and outs, the, the TikTok, uh, you know, step by step in time only dreamed about. And it's amazing to see now the uh, conference dates real quick. Uh, Spelling Bee asked Miss Spelling Bee. It's uh, March the 19th through the 21st. If you go to worthmoreconference.com, it's it's there on the site as well. But it's worthmoreconference.com. Um and uh, tickets are on sale. We've got just a few left. They are selling out. We can only hold, I think, 100 and 110 maybe uh, at most uh, because of the room that we've got. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. Uh, referral marketing uh, plans, referral marketing partners, and referral marketing products is what RMP stands for. But right now, let's get into the training, and then we'll answer your questions on the flip side of this. hack number 14 affiliate brokering and marketing let me tell you affiliate marketing you've probably heard of if you've been online that's sort of the buzz for the last 10 years but here at tw3 we have a little bit of different spin on it because we offer a much more diverse payout than most uh, affiliate offers uh, will make you because most of them are basically like a for lack of better term sales commission you make a sale you get a percentage here and here's your unique affiliate link to to be able to make that offer however we got a really unique way of making money and if you're an elite member at tw3 we have a way that you can build an agency and develop overrights of all your business which makes it wildly wildly profitable sustainable and scalable for you in your business let's get into what we're talking about what i'm going to cover here in just a few moments is the tools and resources you're going to need uh, whether you're at TW3 or, or even not, these are tools and resources you're going to need to do any type of affiliate marketing, uh, various payouts that affiliate offers uh, make and the income uh, that you can make uh, by doing this type of online business. Wildly profitable, been doing it now my 11 years myself and teaching others. So let me tell you, it is well worth the effort and time uh, and investment in learning how to do it. Tools and resources you're going to need, just like I talked about in income hack number 13 last week, you've got to have a, a product and, and offer to be made first. If you'll remember last week, I was offering people free tickets to the movie through Fandango. Well, the way I was able to do that is first I had to have a, uh, you know, a relationship with Fandango and the company that was offering that, uh, to be able to do that. So that's one of the ways that, uh, you have to start now if you're not an elite member at tw3 uh you you're just starting out it might mean that you have to go to amazon and pick a product and then get an affiliate link just for a particular product and do what's called uh you know sales offers but we'll get into that the other thing you got to have is a form and page creator like i illustrated in income hack last week income hack number 13. Uh, you got to be able to create pages and capture forms to be able to do this and you've got to have affiliates if you're going to do brokering. Now, what does that mean? Uh, the, this is sort of the uniqueness of TW3. We allow you to broker, uh, if you're an elite member, um, ways and offers to, um, you know, a agency that you build. See, at TW3, you have the tools to not only um, do affiliate marketing, CPA marketing, referral marketing, uh, sales, and, and all of these other different types of business models, you have all the tools to do that, but you also have a very, very powerful tool and strategy on how to recruit people into your agency to help you build your business and do that and create an income stream for them and your business. So if you're going to do, uh, you know, affiliate brokering, then you've got to have affiliates. And so uh, those are the tools and resources you've got to have if you're going to be successful in affiliate marketing and more importantly, affiliate brokering uh, payout structures are all over the map most people understand the purchase made structure in other words that's where if you go to amazon uh, and get you know signed up to be able to uh, like for instance i have the high pr40 that i'm talking on right now 
this is a particular affiliate offer that I have. So if you wanted the Heil PR40, you wanted the exact same microphone I do podcasting with, you can go over to terrywilson3.com slash equipment. It has a whole list of all the different equipment, recording equipment, microphone equipment, studio equipment, all of those things that I use to, to, to make this podcast and these products are over at terrywilson3.com slash equipment. When you click on one of those links, you're going to go to Amazon. If you make a purchase, I get paid a small percentage to send you over there. Most people understand that type of online marketing and sales. It's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. You've been conditioned. If you've been in any type of sales, that's how you've always been paid. It's a wonderful way of starting to make money. It's the most simplistic way of doing affiliate marketing. However, here's the dirty secret. It's also the toughest. And the reason is, is because, you know, you got to generate a ton of traffic to get any sales. And then, then the sales you make, make, uh, sometimes it's a smaller percentage. Now at TW3, we have an affiliate program where you can get signed up to resell one of our packages and our payouts are a lot bigger because we want it to be worth your time. You get paid a hundred to $300, uh, but still, you know, um, it's, it's, it's a tough hoe. It's a tough way uh, to first getting started in affiliate marketing, but a lot of people have to start there. And that's the most common payout. Matter of fact, when you watch these trainers and teachers and online gurus and marketing people with the Lamborghinis and everything behind them in the big houses and say, Hey, I made this and I do this 99.9% .9 of them are talking about simply doing affiliate marketing. What they don't tell you is the immense amount of time, money, marketing, traffic, and, and, really sophistication you got to get to, to be able to ever make any decent money, let alone Lamborghini money, but it's there. Uh, trials made. This is a huge uh, offer that uh, I do a lot of, but you don't see a lot of. Okay. And I actually train my elite members on how to do this. Trial offers is where I get paid to get people to try something. They don't have to buy it. Just try it. For instance, You'll hear uh, commercials in this podcast and in different places. I'll say, hey, earners are learners and leaders are readers. If you want to go to the next level, you have to grow to the next level. And the way you do that is through great content. Go to terrywilson3.com slash free book and get a free book and a trial offer just for trying out audibles. And if you don't like it, cancel it and you don't pay anything and get to free, keep your free book. Now, what I just did is I want to incentivize you to go over there and try a book for free. Don't buy anything, just try it. And if you like it, which I think you would, if you did try it, you can keep it. But whether you keep it or not, I still get paid for sending you over on that trial offer. There's several that we have at TW3, especially as an elite member. Um, and you get paid like in that instance, I get paid, I think $15. Uh, when every time you try an audio book over there, whether you, uh, keep the service or not, I get paid 15 bucks. So, uh, no purchases necessary. Those are, you have to build a book of business. You have to have some, um, uh, history of doing this type of business for you can qualify for those type of, uh, offers, but they're there. They're very profitable and, uh, highly, highly, uh, you know, recommendable by me. And then my favorite type of payout is action taken last week in income hack number 13, you saw in real time a offer, an RMP offer at TW3 that was based on action taken. No purchase was made. No money was um, required. There wasn't no trial offer. They weren't trying to sell. It was actually a me selling a lead. Basically action taken making uh, basically says it's Fang Fandango says, Terry, for everybody you send us that gives us permission to ask them some questions. And then the way they give us permission is give us their name, email address and telephone number, text number. If they will do that for every person you send over, we pay you, I think it was like $2 and 50 cents. Okay. So that was an action taken. I got paid to basically generate leads. And so through my own marketing skill set and uh, tools that I have to engage clients, I send traffic over to a page that I created and I capture that information. I send it to them and I get paid for that. No purchase necessary. I'm giving value. I use this in a lot of different verticals that I run at TW3. I train my elite members on how to do that. It is wildly, wildly profitable. No, very few people are doing it. So you don't have the resistance that you have in like the traditional affiliate marketing because everybody's out there trying to sell anything. 
very few people are out there just trying to give things away and making a good money doing it. So uh, less resistance in that field as well. Uh, income made is wildly um, diverse. You can make a, a TW3 100 to 300 dollars. The way that's made and, and paid out is that's a that's a purchase made. That's just straight up traditional affiliate marketing. You become an affiliate TW3. You sell one of our packages. If you sell our basic package, which is 997, you get 100 dollars. If you sell our top package, which is 3,000 dollars, you get 300 dollars. So that's how you get paid. You just a, it's just a straight up affiliate offer. You you can market it. You can get paid. You don't have to buy anything. You don't have to do anything. You just sign up for it. Okay. That's how that's made. We do uh, have RMP for our elite members uh, and plus members. Elite members get direct contract. RMPs, uh, uh, elite members get direct contract with our RMPs, which is our referral marketing partners uh, that pay them either for affiliate marketing, uh, RMP marketing. Um, you know, there's diverse, diverse uh, payout types. But though we teach them on how to do all kinds. And then because they have direct contracting, they can do what's called unlimited overriding, which means they can bring in plus members and offer them a links uh, that are directly through their agency and they get a percentage above and they set the percentage. Let me give you a quick example how that works. So last week in Income Hack 13, I talked about giving movie tickets away through Fandango to basically get to go see The Lion King. Well, that particular offer, every time I sent someone over, I was getting like $2.50, right? Well, here's the dirty little secret. Now, I didn't do it on this one, but I have done it on several other type of offers like this. I can go that same you see on the left if you're watching this video. If you're listening to this on an audio podcast, go back and watch Income Hack number 14. I'm showing a landing page that I created with my software. But see, here's the thing. Once it's created, I can click one button, duplicate it, and then assign that page out to another affiliate. So I can assign it. So as I recruit affiliates or if I'm in the TW3 ecosystem, uh, I can give this my plus members and then I get an overwrite for every person they bring on. Uh, they get a copy of the lead that came through. Uh, I see what's going on because it's the page that I created. It's got a distinctive link that goes right to that Fandango offer. And so when Fandango pays out, which most of these RMPs pay out every two to three weeks, sometimes it's once a month, whatever it is, but, uh, you can keep track with, okay, that came from that particular, uh, a link, which is assigned to, you know, Joe Smith over here, my affiliate here. And so at the end of the month, you know, okay, that offer I'm getting paid $2 and 50 cents. And I told all my affiliates, I'm paying them a dollar out. So Joe Smith just made me a dollar 50 per uh, lead that he generated. That is what's called building an agency and having an overwrite, but you got to have all these tools and you got to have the direct contracting to be able to do all that. But that's how it's done. And that's how I've made money, not only doing affiliate marketing, but brokering the deals as well. And that's income hack number 14. Hey, now back to our show with Terry Wilson. So that was a little bit of an overview, and I recorded that literally. <clears throat> I know that went long. It was 12 minutes. But it took me tw uh, three different recordings to get that under 15 minutes. I was like, yes, it's going too long because there's so many moving parts to RMP, which, which is what we call our referral marketing business, where you got referral marketing uh, products, uh, you got different partners that we work with, and we you know, so that is what that business is. So, um, there's a lot of moving parts to that, but it is a huge, huge moneymaker. And quite frankly, the way I manage my TW3 business and the income I generate with my TW3 business, uh, is a template that I use to go, uh, do all this other type of business. So that is how we do it. We're going to go to a, a quick break. It's only a minute break here and we'll be back and we're going to start taking your questions because I know they're coming in and we'll be back right after this. You know, if you've ever listened to my podcast, you've heard me say it a thousand times. Earners are learners and leaders are readers. If you want to go to the next level, you do have to grow to the next level and growth happens by the people you hang around and listen to the most. Seth Grodin says you're the sum total of the five people you hang around the most and that is why you need to go to terrywilson3.com slash free book and get a free audiobook just to try out the services. Here's the deal. Over 70,000 different authors from every type of genre that you could think of. Go over there. Pick one that you like. Something that's going to inform you. Something that's going to inspire you. Something that's going to illustrate what 
you need to do next. Try out the service. If you don't like the service, cancel it and you get to keep that free audiobook. But you're going to love the service and I promise you, if you will commit yourself to listening and learning from those who have gone where you want to go, you can go there also. So go to terrywilson3.com slash free book today. Try out the service and get a free audiobook just for trying it out. terrywilson3.com slash free book. And now back to our show with Terry Wilson. It's weird because I'm used to you starting it off, but then I'm not sure where the entry is. I've heard it a hundred times. Uh, we're going to start taking some of your guys' questions, so we'll go ahead and get into the first question. Um, it says, hey, I have a question. Uh, I want to know if your system works for generating higher in sales leads for franchises where the liquid has to be 50000 at a minimum. Yeah. Oh! oh, oh strike one! <laughs> <laughs> Rookie, <laughs> I'm trying. Hey. I'm trying to be the engineer over here. You're muted. <laughs> and I just want to apologize for Lindsay if anybody heard her cackle <laughs> during the break. We we're trying to tell I'm her sorry. if you're going to eat your Chick Fil A sandwich while we're doing a podcast, mute your mic. Hey, listen. <laughs> that wasn't what we were the saying. The Lord's at all. chicken <laughs> is always welcome. Amen. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Praise. Go ahead. So yes, it is that you got to target uh, via. You're wanting to do B two B marketing. Okay, is what that is, and so it, you've got to do some filtering. Uh, on the lead list that you start marketing to, which is going to be probably their credit rating and also their um, their income. Uh, there is no way uh, to be able to, to delineate what someone has in their checking account. OK, there's just no way to do that. Uh, that kind of information uh, you can't get legally. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I wish I could. Unless you're a fast <laughs> then the government just asks you. Unless you're Mark Zuckerberg, and then you're going to be before Congress <laughs> oh, trying to figure out, why do you know this kind of information? Yeah. <laughs> but um, you can do demographical filters, which is age, income, uh, those kind of things, and do a little deductive reasoning. Okay, it stands to reason. If someone's got a half a million dollar a year income, and their credit rating is 720, then it stands to reason they might be liquid enough to, to make a $50,000 purchase on some types of franchise. So you do have that. Uh, our tools are nothing more than bulk texting, bulk emailing, uh, bulk dialing, social media marketing, landing page creation, blogging, podcasting, all those things. The, the, the magic sauce is not in those tools. It's in the training that we give you to show you how to go after. The marketing the, piece. The marketing piece to that. And so there's different ways to market a franchise. Uh, we, we've, matter of fact, uh, legally speaking, uh, TW3 is not a franchise, legally speaking. But practically, it's basically a franchise, you know, because we're showing you here's the tools, here's how we use it. You know, it's like buying a Chick Fil A. Okay, here's the ingredients we use. Here's mm -hmm. the way you do it. Here's the pricing you charge. Here's what you do. Here's the culture you ought to have. You know, for mm -hmm. all practical. But legally speaking, we're not a franchise. But for all practical purposes, as far as having a business in a box. But if we were Chick Fil A, we would have Chick Fil A sandwiches every Monday night. Mm -hmm. Well, there's three people would. in here that's. <laughs> we're practically chick-fil-a <laughs> <Or> pra <laughs> yeah. if you eat one more uh chick-fil-a sandwich i think you're gonna start clucking <laughs> great question what else you got cool uh terry uh which areas do sorry grammar terry which areas do you advertise with your calls to the call center well i i market all over the place um uh, there are multiple the social media uh job uh posting sites um, uh, keyword searches, um, you name it, uh, I'm there if there's any online medium and also what's called, uh, you know, offline, uh, marketing. I still do a lot of voice drops. I do bulk texting. Those are things that are not connected to the internet that uh, I use and do. So, uh, that's, that's where I market. Uh, but we at TW3, what we do is we show you a strategy to start out with this one basic concept simple concept, build on that, learn how to do that. And then as you learn that process, then start adding different engagement tools and different sandboxes to start marketing in. Cool. Um, you already did the conference dates. Uh, does your system provide a money back guarantee? We offer a 90 day money made guarantee, but it's not a money back guarantee. We don't offer refunds, trial periods, anything like that. And One more time. 
Okay, we offer we do not offer <laughs> refunds. Say it again for the people in the back. <laughs> for those who are listening, which the thing is, we're making a joke out of it. We really don't have that big of an issue with it. It's just you get those not one or one two person, people, right? Yeah. yeah. No, no. I mean, just get one or two people. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Keep going. Yeah. Well, it's it's a cultural thing. I think we live in a society that I'm going to get on a soapbox if I'm not no, no, careful. Don't do that. Don't do so that. Let's just, <laughs> what's your money back guarantee? Here's the deal. And let me explain why we don't offer a money back guarantee and why we do offer a money made guarantee and the distinctions between the two. So I can fully answer the question. What you're dealing with here is digital products, software, websites, hosting of those particular products, goods and services, and all of that. When you make a purchase, when you enroll as a TW3 member, the first thing we do is we go out and get the hosting of your website and your software that you're going to need. The company we work with is one of the best companies I've ever worked with, and I've worked with them for over 20 years now. When I started uh, ASAF, that's when I started working with that particular hosting company, just so you know. (laughs) Um, And they've only been down one time, and it was just the other day. That's really weird. Yeah, that's the first time ever. But um, they're great to work with. They're secure. Um, I have a lot of trust in them, but they don't offer a refund. Okay. Once I go get a, a server space to put all your stuff on it, I have to pay, pay for that. Then I have to go to various software companies or plug-in companies. Uh, however you want to say it, I'm not going to beat that dead horse again, but, uh, <laughs> when we, when we have to get these different plugins and softwares for your site, uh, we have to pay them. We don't get a refund from that. Your uh, trainer and recruiter, when they bring you on, uh, there's a front-loaded expense of marketing that they've had to endure, time that they've had to endure to en- enroll you, and some at some level training. We don't get that money back, okay? And that's one of the selling points we actually tell our members. I've got listen. One of the beautiful things I like about this business, I come from the insurance world, and uh, used to, um, you know, you'd sell a policy and you get you know, a commission and then the transmission went out the next week or something happened or the baby got sick or whatever, and they couldn't afford to make their premium. Well, they had lapsed that policy. Well, I would get a charge back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so one of the selling points, the reason why insurance agents and other folks, uh, (laughs) (laughs) every single (laughs) way. Thank goodness he's cute, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> but this is a selling point because a lot of people that are sales professionals have been in businesses where, you know, you do all this and then because of life circumstances, whatever, uh, they get that. So we don't offer that because we're not offered that. So that's the answer of why we don't. Now, what do we offer? We offer a 90 day money made guarantee that basically says this, and you can go over and read it, terrywilson3.com slash 90, the number 90. TerryWilson3.com slash 90. And what it says is this. If you use our system the way we show you and prescribe and you allow us to verify you're doing what we tell you to do, we guarantee you minimum results. And if you don't get those results, we're going to suspend all admin fees and expense of having the business until you get up to speed because we are going to make you successful. But I've offered that for two and a half, almost three years now, and never had one person not make the minimum results. It's a numbers game. It's just if you do the activity, do it the way we show you, you're going to make money. Okay? But uh, we don't offer a refund or trial period, but we do offer that 90-day money-made guarantee. But you forgot two things. Yes. First thing, um, they had it for two days, and they're not a millionaire. So obviously it's fake. Mm. And number two, my favorite, um, you broke into their house, took their wallet, (laughs) and then bought the system (laughs) with their card. Now, you're going to have to explain that. Someone accused... No, uh, it's it's too convoluted to even no, explain because people people think it's fake. But the one of the one of the best stories I've ever heard in my life was you'll love this. Someone broke. The reason we know that someone else bought it is because we know the IP address. We can track and confirm with sure. their card based on where they live, based on where they. That's bought why it. Uh, when you do it and you sign the terms and all this other stuff, we can show the credit card. So company, somebody look, bought it from their home using their card, gave it three months, had active tickets, had af- active questions. Was you could tell was like doing the work. Right. Um, you know, asking questions. I can't say doing the work. I don't know how, if they, you know, posted any ads or anything, but <clears throat> essentially they decided it wasn't for them. And then they said they'd like a refund. We told them we don't offer refunds, but we can spend your admin fee. You know, we can work with you on their 90 day money made guarantee, whatever we can work with you. Um, right. they essentially came back and said, no, um, their card was stolen. Somebody bought it for them. And then we immediately, and then they that's submitted, a lie. Hold on, hold on. 
they submitted tickets on the stolen card purchase. Is that what had happened? Yeah. yeah. And then what I had, what we had said was, that's terrible. Can you show us the police reports that we can? Yeah, so show us the police report. And then from that, they go, well, and but, then we also had mentioned, well, we have the IP address that shows that it's where you are located. They bought it. They bought the system from where you're located. And she, the person had said, no, they broke into my home, used my computer Bought the oh. system from their card, and, and you know that's a that's a trend. People are breaking into houses and mm-hmm. buying yeah. work from home work businesses, from home businesses <laughs> yeah, on other people's <laughs> laptops with yeah. their credit. Card. It's a, I tell you, it's a dangerous trend. That crime. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you can't not laugh. I'm just being honest, and I'm sure if this person ever hears this, they know it's them. But you got to come up with better excuses because I wouldn't. That wasn't it, Chief. And so I go back to what my sister said one time about a family member that will go and named it the tends to stretch the truth maybe has a hard time with being congruent with reality how's that pretty good wow. Wow. lawyered jordan well, Pe- lawyered up jordan peterson wow. he'd be so proud <laughs> yeah, in other what words, did you just say you've been going know, to law school, school on the deal <laughs> in other words they lie a lot <laughs> and she said this she says it's not that you lie to me so much that offends me it's that you lie to me so poorly <laughs> it insults my intelligence <laughs> I, mean, it's pretty I was good. telling Reagan, it's I said, it's not that this person is lying so much to us. It's just it, how poorly they're doing. It's just really. so poor. <laughs> You're going I mean, to have to I've never had better. this idea in my, like, I've, I've thought about crime because I'm a Dateline fanatic. Okay. I love Dateline. It's the quote of the I've, night. I've thought about crime. I've never thought, <laughs> I've thought about breaking in. <laughs> I've never thought about breaking into someone's home, getting their credit card, buying a fifteen hundred dollar system with their money at their house and then right. running under their name under their name like yeah. and then logging in and then, logging and, in. And then sending questions somehow for figuring and out the username tickets. and password to log in and submitting that tickets. they set up they kept they kept coming back to ask more questions in their house it's crazy um yeah, yeah it was awful. that is a thief right there <laughs> Honestly, even the more you think about it, the more absurd it gets. No, I, I really have. There was a dateline recently, and this guy, like, his murder was terrible. Like, if I was going to commit a murder, <laughs> not hold on, not that right. I ever would, but if I— Do you I, really want to say this? No, if I did, though, I hope this I'd be smarter. I, I hope I wouldn't oh, be a fool. Oh, he was a bad murderer. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, there's a was. reason why yeah. they call it dumb crook news, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to continue with the questions here. Yeah. Uh, the 32, so your income statement, where is, where's that, gen, that that income generated from? That so was all my TW3. You're, you're just the owner? Or how does no, that, that was my TW3 business. Sure. Stuff, yeah. So that's everything that anybody else could generate. Yeah, doing exactly that's what. me as an elite member in my own business. Cool. That was a good question. Yeah, that was a great question. Uh, and and by better. the way, there's other members on here tonight that's making that kind of money. So, I mean, it's... it's right. It's, it's not just you. Um, how do you find uh, those free offers to give away? So our RMP offers. It's in our RMP package, and uh, if you are an elite member, you've got direct training on where to go and get that. But it's you have to be an elite member, and we show you exactly where to go and and how to use those and how to stack those offers and things like mm-hmm. that. So it's it pays to be an elite member, guys. At the end of the day, what we're selling is information. What and what we do on these podcasts, we show you what you can do, mm-hmm. what is available to you, and then as you become a member, we show you how to do it. Um, question. Do you need to have your own business to be credentialed at the elite level? No, no. You, anybody, uh, can be an elite question. member. Great question. Uh, if I was a rep, what would my, my day look like? Okay. So like hourly, I guess. If yeah. Were a rep Lindsay, there. hit that. Uh, okay. When they say rep, are they a sales rep and trainer? Yeah. I'm assuming a sales rep. Okay. So if you followed my system, then what you would do is you would open up your computer in the morning, I try to do all of my lead um, processing in the morning and answer all of my training emails. I'm available by email to my clients um, Monday through Friday, so that ends up being a little bit of my work time in the morning. And I take all my leads and I throw them into an Excel spreadsheet so that I have an organized way to look at where I'm at in the conversation with everybody. And I send my text out, which is my first contact attempt out of three in the morning and request same day appointments in the afternoon. Yeah. So then a couple hours later after lunch is when I start making my phone calls and I schedule those in 15 minute increments. So um, I start making those phone calls and depending on how many leads it could be from 
one to five, or it could be from one to two. And on average, how many hours a day do you work your TW3 business? I know you have other businesses, but just, just your TW3. And so, when I say, and, and let me unpack this for them. Okay, go ahead. When I say how, how much do you work your TW3 business, that includes you creating new business mm-hmm. and managing existing business. New and my coaching. Yeah, because that's, that's what I call your management right. activity because you got to keep those people happy. You got to keep them exactly. informed. You got to keep them. You have to respond you have if to you're respond a coach. If you're a coach and elite members, that's yeah. what they are. And then you also got to grow your business because right. new sales is how you make your money. And exactly. a, keeping people happy with that mm-hmm. residual part is how you sustain your exactly. incoming. So with all of that, what do you make? Um, uh, how much time? And then if you want to get into making that, fine. 90 minutes a day is what I plan to spend on average. Now, I will qualify that by saying that that breaks down to um, my coaching days being Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. So on those days, it might be three to four hours. Yeah. Um, and the other days, it might be one hour. Gotcha. But as a whole, I would say... 90 minutes and my coaching income, my residual income right now pays my two car payments, which is a huge blessing for our family. And then um, I had five new clients last month. So that was also a huge blessing for our family. And uh, those clients, were they plus members, elite members, rep members? So last month was really weird because I had one elite and one SRT and three plus. Now, normally, if I was to do five, it'd be like four elites and one who knows what. Like, normally, I sell more elite packages than anyone else, but right. um, not than anyone else, than anything else. Anything else. I got, I got you. Um, no, flex on everybody. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not that <laughs> More than anybody else, including no, no, no. the month sitting across the table from me. <laughs> no, no, no. But um, normally, I do tend to sell elite packages and not even by trying. Like, if you are in my coaching class and you look at my sales strategy training, I have a package recap doc. And I don't like pump up the elite package like you have to have this. I fully explain the benefits of each package. Oh, it sells itself though. I mean, it yeah, does yeah. sell itself though. Yeah. So um, this month was weird though because it was probably the first month since I've been selling that I sold more plus than elite. Right. <laughs> right. So I mean, with what you told me, one elite, two plus, one SRT has thirty five hundred dollars in in uh, commissions. Mm-hmm. Straight up without splits or anything like that, but that's thirty yes. thirty five hundred dollars in, in <coughs> new business commission. So that's and that's an hour and a half a day, and that's that is with the activity of uh, bringing new business in and maintaining and managing. Existing. Maintaining that's the big thing. If I could drive home anything to anyone that's listening that has active clients, do your clients the diligence that they deserve. Yeah, follow up with them, make them aware of your availability. And the expectation that and they set it will, right up front. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Do a contract to manage or, or verbal agreement. Whatever you decide to do, let them know what they can expect from you, and keep them accountable. Because when you first start TW three, it's like drinking from a fire hose. We've all said that before. Right. So it's so helpful if you just tell them, okay, um, how many hours a week can you give this? And they say four. Okay, Okay. well then let's chat again next Monday at 1 p.m. And can you try to get through steps one and two? Right. Like give them give them some direction, right? Yeah. And give them a goal and what's expected. It's going to boost your retention. Well, it's it's going to help them. It's going to help everyone. Yeah. Absolutely. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, Mr. Reagan. All right. So these are some of our questions from uh, email today. Um, Can any membership level offer affiliate links to resell TW3? Yes, and we're going to get into that Wednesday night. Uh, cause what I illustrated here is how you can set up the affiliate program within TW3 as a SRT, you know, because we do have that affiliate uh, way of joining and you can set up links, distinctive links for your affiliates if you want mm-hmm. and, uh, have them, uh, have some resources to be able to do some marketing with generate leads. And of course it's in your sandbox. So you've got that as well. Cool. Um, what's the difference if any in affiliate marketing and the RMP business you have? So affiliate marketing uh, typically is simply just, for lack of a better term, selling and getting a commission off the sale. So uh, you can go over to, for instance, uh, um, uh, uh, Amazon, find a product you like, get an affiliate link for it, send it out to everybody. And if they buy that, whatever it is, you get a little percentage off of that. That's affiliate marketing. But what uh, we offer is a little more diverse and sophisticated than that. Yes, we have that. 
but we can give things away and get paid. We can give people hourly and salary jobs and get paid for it. And that's one of the ways we make money. And that's a little bit of our secret sauce, why we are such a great recruiting business. Because, yes, we want entrepreneurs. Yes, we want people that, quote, unquote, would like to franchise, sort of a franchise mindset. But a lot of people are not that way. And so for the lion's share of those, we can divert that traffic right over, give them an hourly salary job. They get paid. We get paid for sending them over as a headhunter. And everyone's happy. Okay. Um, So I, I was rethinking the math. When you were, because <laughs> you know how I struggle. Because, because I just agreed to it without like uh, totaling it in my head, um, which my head is not reliable. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my um, math might be off, but there's other things off. <laughs> you said like thirty five hundred for um, pre split, um, and and my business has a lot of splits because right. I do splits with clients underneath me, and I do some splits with you. But pre split five sales that I mentioned would have been 4875. Well, so it was so better than what I It was way better. So I just wanted to make sure we significantly better than what you said. Yeah. Did I ever say I was an accountant? No, but I agreed to your bad accounting, so I had to set the record straight on the air. Oh my gosh, I tell you it's amazing I can even got a job. <laughs> That's why you made up your own. That's right. <laughs> We're getting questions. All right, guys, we'll be back right after this, and we'll get into some other things in the training about culture right after this. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you know what your unique value is? That thing that sets you apart from everyone else in your business. You know where to go and how to find it. If you said no, I want to encourage you. Get my new book, You Are Worth More. You can go over to youareworthmorebook.com and it goes into what your unique value is, where and what it is, the imperative for you to win and acquire more out of life, how to increase your income by using these unique values that you have, a way to scale and increase your impact both per personally and professionally, how others are succeeding in spite of perceived limitations, how to tap into your creative genius, actionable steps to earn unlimited income and ways to leverage tools to increase your productivity. That's all the things you're going to learn in a very informative, inspiring and illustrative way. If you go over to youareworthmorebook.com, youareworthmorebook.com, hear me now or feel me later as I like to say, you are worth more in the moment the very moment you start believing it and receiving it, you'll start acting upon it and you will start having it. Have you ever tried a work from home business? If you have, you may be like several others. Matter of fact, 98% of people, according to Forbes magazine, who've tried and failed. Why? Well, there's several reasons, but the main reason is because most home-based businesses have no means, method, or mechanism for you to get in front of people who need, want, desire, and can afford what it is you offer. See, the unique thing about TerryWilson3.com is we put you in a position where if you can simply answer a phone, read a script, you can make money. And I'm not talking about going and selling pills, thrills, lotions, and potions. I'm talking about selling something that every business, everyone who has a product, good, or service needs. And that is a lead generation marketing system. But here's the cool thing. You never cold call. You never have to recruit your friends, family, and foes. You simply take a call, read a script. Want more information? Go to terrywilson3.com. Now back to our show with Terry Wilson. Why is there a lingering silence? Somebody say something. <laughs> Lindsay doesn't open the segment. Was no. that you're waiting for? <laughs> I was messing with her. <laughs> uh-huh. I was taking a bite of my sandwich. <laughs> She's a very net Chick Fil A sandwich. I was gonna make her feel like she was supposed to talk. Don't even try to play with me. You're muted as mic. I mine. know. I know. Do what? I said you're muted as mic. Yeah. So oh. uh, <laughs> here I am defending myself <laughs> to myself. Yeah, <laughs> just, nobody can uh, hear your wonderful defense. That That's just, okay. I think we should just do a silent podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. You think it would sell? Yeah. Oh yeah. Too. I hear the audio podcast. listeners would really get to enjoy it most. They, they love a silent podcast. Okay, so uh, here's what I want to talk to you about culture, real quick, guys. Because um, tonight, the, the the thrust of this and the theme of this particular show is culture. Um, you know, so many businesses nowadays, it's full of politics, backbiting. Uh, and, and the reason is because is people are just angry. People are frustrated. People uh, aren't happy with where they're at in their careers and in their lives. And I get that. It's, it's spewing over into our society, our, our politics, uh, businesses, and everything else. 
and I'm not here trying to make a theological statement nor political statement, but I am telling you this, if uh, you don't enjoy, pardon? If you don't enjoy. My mic was muted. You can't even do that. Nobody heard it. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't enjoy what you do and who you do it with, you're not going to be there long. And there's just something about um, enjoying what you do. Because what it does is it takes what you're doing out of the realm of being a job and just being an absolute joy. And then you're more productive. Uh, You guys have been to restaurants and stuff. And you've been waited on with staff that enjoys what they're doing. And you've been waited on. with Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Well, some of them enjoy it. Some of them have been told to say thank you and please and my pleasure. I don't even care if they're smiling. If they say my pleasure. I don't even care if it's sincere. Here's the thing. I'm like, they love me. I will add to it just a little bit if that's cool. Yeah. They purposely look, seek out, and you can sort of tie this back into our our own business, but they purposely seek out people with the culture they're looking for. And whenever they find, like, because there are occasionally people that fall through the cracks that... You kind of within the first two days realize, oh, this this isn't for you. But right. it's like you're able to see that from a mile away. Because we had somebody right. like just a few weeks ago that second day there, like you can tell there was no effort to yeah. move up or get any better at what they were doing. It was just like, I give him a week. <laughs> he and, made it three and, more days and he quit. And right. I want to really? say something because yeah. I, I, I can already probably hear some people thinking this. Mm-hmm. So I just want to address it real quick. When we say culture, when we say creating a positive business environment, we are not talking about religion. No. We're not no. talking about gender, no. race, Mm-mm. your politics. It has to do with your attitude. I agree. Your attitude. Yep. That, that's what we're talking about. I didn't even think of any of those things. Well, I could, I mean, I could see some things coming in on my yeah. text and stuff. Sure. So it, it has nothing. Because ha- everything is so hyper-polarized and political. Mm-hmm. Today, you have to make sure that people understand exactly what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it does not matter. Any of that stuff. What I'm talking about and is your attitude that you set for yourself, your people, and for you elite guys, this is especially important. You're building an agency, and you want it to be a positive environment. You want yes. people to be enjoying yep. the products, goods, and services that you're offering. Yep. Uh, if you're an insurance real estate guy and you're trying to build this agency out there, you don't want people out there that's undermining the very mm-hmm. brand that you're trying to create. So there's about five things I would tell you. You've got to be able to, to hit and hit hard to, to make sure that you're creating something that's profitable, sustainable, and enjoyable for your culture and your business. And number one is be clear on your core values as a business, not only to your staff and your associates, but your tribe, your clients, and your patrons. Patrons mean people that uh, patronize your business, um, not, not employees that patronize you. I got a, it. I got a, it. The, <laughs> yeah. Just the word itself. Is, yeah. It's a funny word, I know. But, you know, we talked about this uh, Wednesday night. We had a, a meeting at TW3 on culture, and that was mm-hmm. one of the things. It says we're positive, but we're not Pollyannish. You get involved with some of these biz ops and different work from home type things, and it's like it's phony baloney, plastic banana, just, you know, you know, every, it's a blue sky. I make Can the joke all the time, that? but it, it's always – it's like, that's weird. I haven't heard from this high school friend in four years. I wonder what they want on Facebook. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, you know, oh immediately what it so is. It just smacks of insincerity. That's the quickest way to get blocked. Yep. Yeah, you better believe it. I hadn't talked to you in ever, and now all of a sudden, hey, Terry, how you been? How you I, been? I got something. I'm in good. Me. I'm fine with my job. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. But, you know, with NTW3, what we want to tell people is that we are huge proponents, advocates, evangelists, even if you want. For entrepreneurialism, because mm-hmm. I honestly believe nobody would pay me what I make. I can barely read and write and spell, add, <laughs> subtract. I don't know geography. Is anybody going to pay me what I make? But Terry Wilson will pay me what I make. <laughs> <laughs> Income law number one in here, you know, chapter or whatever, is no one cares more about your income than you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're huge proponents, uh, advocates. We tell everybody, I don't care where you're at in life, what you're doing, your age. <laughs> You know, you could be, you know, a state employee somewhere. Fine, do it. But you need a side hustle because I have learned, and you can pick up a uh, newspaper every day. You can watch the news. People are getting laid off all the time. Uh, You know, there's macro shifts in economies and different industries. No job is ever safe. So what that means is you better always have something you can fall back on, even if you don't want to do something entrepreneurial full time. Mm -hmm. But I have always advocated that if you learn how to work for yourself, and create an income for yourself. Trust me, nobody would let me dress the way I dress um, 
have, this is true. Have the activities. I've seen I, you water in the plants, and I'm like, well, I had a conversation with your. Where's husband. Gina at? Exactly. Where is Gina? Exactly. <laughs> I had a I had a conversation with your husband today that was just riding down. He goes, you know, every time I see you, you're either watering the plants or going to the mailbox and just whistling around in some of the worst clothes a person <laughs> could wear. I said, that's true. That's true. Yes. And I says, and what's the shame? She <laughs> just goes, yes. That's true. <laughs> And yeah. I says, and I tell you what's criminal is what they pay me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you got somebody says, well, you know, it's not fair. You know, the rich get richer and then they start complaining about that. And I was like, well, guess what? We give you a step by step on how to. You if can you do wanna it. You want to be in the club. Yeah. It's well, we open. always hear about the rich getting richer, especially from Ruth. You know, you're just making it. Just now that's an inside <laughs> joke. You better explain because you're, they'll think you, you could explain it better than I could, but that's the equivalent of, uh, What's uh what's that show? Over the hill? Yeah. It's like the rich getting richer. It's like, it's like one guy has a better lawnmower. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. But be clear on your core values. That's the first thing you can do to help create a, a positive culture and enjoyable culture for yourself. Number two, embrace and exhibit your brand's highest form. And what do I mean by that? Um three or four years ago, um, uh, I was not where I am today, but where I am today, I wanted to be. And so when I created, I envisioned one day having a room about this size that I could have multiple people on the podcast with me. And it wasn't just me sitting at a card table in a walk-in closet with just a Mac and a, a thing, but I presented myself and I carried myself like I was a professional because I was a professional, my environment did not dictate what was on the inside. The goods were on the inside. It's just what was on the inside hadn't manifest yet, but I knew one day would be here. And in that sense, you dressed for the job you wanted, not the job you had. Not it, literally. Not literally. But think about it. But I, exactly. I dress, that's a great way of saying it. So embrace and exhibit. Dress for the job you want, not the one you have. Yeah. Number three, expect and endure the critics. Yeah, we're still working on that one. <laughs> And I will tell you, there's one thing that has ruined uh, my environment here that I have to this day. And w the first conference you were at, I told you, I said, I struggle with this because this bit. And I'll tell you why. I went from broke, busted, and disgusted, you know, just in a line looking for food to finding a way out and digging my way out of a hole. Yeah. And I see so many other people that have grabbed a hold of us and been able to do it. So it pisses me off when other people just turn their nose up and don't, you know. So we have to reel you in from you time to time. You have to reel me and in. And give you strikes. Statistically, yeah. though, I mean, if you really think about it. Oh, one out of 100 is nuts. Yeah. I know. So we have 200 people come in. Everybody's pleasant. Some people do really, really well. Some people maybe not. But then you have just the one. I would just say for me, it's about one in 12. That, yeah, one in 12. It's just crazy. a cray cray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't do nothing about it. And what it is, is I believe it's a manifestation of some things that they have going on in their personal lives. Absolutely. And they're looking for a projection target. Yeah. Well, and, you know, well, I go do. back, I quote this all the time <laughs> to the point most older members don't hear me anymore. But for you new members, I would <clears throat> tell you to go read a book by John Maxwell called The 21 Irrefutable Laws. There's one law in there that to this day um, resonates with me. Passed to him, hits him in the chest, and he drops it. He drops it. He was supposed to catch it. There's no reason why he didn't catch it, but he just dropped. He took the eye off the ball. He was thinking what he's going to do before he had the ball, whatever. But he did not make the catch. So what does he do? He falls down, and he gets back up, and he starts limping. Like He has to give a reason. Mm -hmm. He has to come up with an excuse of why he didn't execute. And that's a metaphor for people and a lot of times in life. Well, I would be where I wanted to be if it wasn't for such and such or so-and-so or so-and-so did me wrong or mm. this did this or this. And it, you got you get this loser's like, well, you know, I bought this system from Terry. He took $1,500 from me, and I was looking for an hourly job. You know, Didn't even have software. Didn't he have software? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Like, when I hear that, I think automatically, are you going to be a victim? And I know people in my in my very close circle of friends that, like if you knew about their childhoods and you knew what they had overcome, oh my gosh, that you would be like, oh my you goodness, you would be ashamed to complain about. Exactly. You yeah. get around some people that have gone through some really that been abused as children, mm -hmm. have had some just horrific things that you can't like even talk to them about. Their life set them up to not win, and they're winning anyways and because they, they've they, decided not to be a victim. Exactly. They look at that and they just slap it in the face and say, "No, I'm." 
when you then no one has an excuse and that's the point mm-hmm. and i and i get frustrated not with people but with that attitude and we're I talking about culture too. and so when you're building your business guys when you're building your agency out there when you're you're trying to build your team build your tribe build your circle then let pe- put people on notice hey my team my business what i'm about is going to the next level mm-hmm. if you want to go come with me but if you want to bitch moan and whine you know there's Walmart greeters that are needed every day. Walmart. Can we talk about Walmart for a second? No, we can't. I got to get off of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number four, hang a lantern on your weakness. Bobby Kennedy came up with this years ago when Te- uh, John F. Kennedy was running for president. And John F. Kennedy had this one huge problem. At the time, he was the wrong religion. And back then, you couldn't be of that religion and get anywhere because, you know, it was just culturally wasn't popular then or whatever. And so he said, let's not run from it. Let's hang a lantern on it and just brag about that. This is who we are, you know. And so he went to the South and spoke at churches and spoke at different places and said, yeah, I am this. This is the religion I am. But that doesn't mean I take, you know, directions or I won't be influenced as so from some pope. I'm going to do right by, you know. And so he hung a lantern on it. I can't spell. I can't. I can't do math. I'm always talking about it. Why? Because I'm. I'm hanging a lantern on it. Okay, it is what it is, folks. You know. We do a commission split, and I have to tell you, Terry, you gave me. I try to give you twenty five dollars. I try to pay you more money than I owe you all the time. (laughs) But you know, that's the. You know, the, the point is, I think sincerity will always sell better than polish authenticity being real is way more attractive than being slick. And I agree with that. I'm not slick. I'm not polished, but I try to be who I am. And mm-hmm. I would, I would advocate everyone else and it's going to create And here, well, here. Why is that important? Because if you can enjoy who you are, relax and be you create an environment that says, Hey, this is, this is what, then guess what? I, It's enjoyable because I'm not getting up every day. I'm not doing this podcast trying to be someone I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm being me, you know, like it or love it, hate it or reject it, whatever. I don't. I mean, I was thinking about this when I was getting ready to come down here. I was like, how many podcasts could I come on as a a video guest post-workout with my hair in a big old messy bun (laughs) fresh out of the shower and nobody's even going to think anything twice about it because we're that real on here? Yeah. We're not, we're not about, you know, we're about who we are, what we can do, the value we offer. It's not about anything else. Yeah. And so, and lastly, the fifth thing is integrity. You know, build your business, build your environment around 100%. What are you laughing at? (laughs) Not Reagan. River is being a little salty in his facial expressions (laughs) and it's just funny. Are you distracting our guest? No, no. I was just, I was very agreeing with you. When you said integrity, I was like. He was agreeing to the point that he fell asleep. <laughs> integrity He's heard weak. his dad's speech a couple times and I'm putting him to sleep is what's going on. But lastly, I will tell you this, guys. You can read all kinds of positive reviews and negative reviews about this business, but here's what you can't ever find. And they can't say it truthfully. They can't say, I said one thing and I did another. They might can say, well, he didn't offer a refund. I told you up front I did. On the podcast. I'm never hidden from it. Uh, he said that, uh, you know, he, he didn't call me back when I called him back. I was wanting one-on-one. I never said I did. Matter of fact, I put it in writing. Here's what you can expect from me. Here's the, the level of support you'll get. Here's what it is. Here's how you're supported. You will never read a review. At least it can't be honest. You'll never find someone saying in this business, that I didn't do what I said I would do. Now, they might not like what I do, mm-hmm. but see, that's a buying decision that should have been made before the purchase. And you mm-hmm. get frustrated when you make buying decisions after a purchase because those are decisions that needed to come up in objections you need to think about and work through. Snuggies. Yeah. Well, that's what that's I mean, what part you... of integrity can be defined as, is just doing the right thing when no one's looking. Exactly. I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put on a show. This is what I said I was going to do, and I'm going to do that because right. it's the right thing to do. That's what I said I would do. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I mean, and if you'll build your business around that, you're going to have haters from time. You cannot go anywhere. You cannot go to any higher level without <clears> having <throat> someone complain, frustrated, aggravated. Well, he ought to do this. Well, he, who does he think he is? You know, I, I was. we were laughing uh, before you got here, Lindsay. I told him, I said, I found that, that guy that was complaining that – he came to the podcast and 
started something like, like a year ago. A it's year ago, funny. thirty seconds late or something because the link broke. I remember that. Well, uh, a guy under him <laughs> he says, was very upset. The guy under him said, "Yeah, I went to his live stream the other day, and he's just sitting in some sort of trailer, and he's acting like he's supposed to be some sort of money." Well, this is when I was in an he RV in out RV there trip. <laughs> on a month vacation, but he wanted to take me saying, he ain't got no money. He don't know what he's doing. He's in a trailer. He didn't take a month off of work <laughs> to go vacation with his family across the U.S. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm scraping wow. by. Thank you for, thank you for your, your kind thoughts. We're not, uh, we're not wrapping up yet, are we? Cause no, we, got more we, questions. we got, we got the questions that we'll get to right after this. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you know what your unique value is? That thing that sets you apart from everyone else in your business. You know where to go and how to find it. If you said no, I want to encourage you. Get my new book, You Are Worth More. You can go over to youareworthmorebook.com and it goes into what your unique value is, where and what it is, the imperative for you to win and acquire more out of life, how to increase your income by using these unique values that you have, a way to scale and increase your impact both personally and professionally, how others are succeeding in spite of perceived limitations, how to tap into your creative genius, actionable steps to earn unlimited income, and ways to leverage tools to increase your productivity. That's all the things you're going to learn in a very informative, inspiring, and illustrative way. If you go over to youareworthmorebook.com, youareworthmorebook.com, hear me now or feel me later, as I like to say, you are worth more in the moment. The very moment you start believing it and receiving it, you'll start acting upon it and you will start having it. And now back to our show with Terry Wilson. All right, let's go ahead and get to uh, some of these questions that we've got. Um, this one comes from our friend Daniel from Japan. Uh, where can Daniel's we- son. <laughs> Uh, where can we find the contract to manage example? So our new. Yeah. So that was a training we did. Lindsay, when did we do that? About a year ago or back in December? Um, It was probably nine to 10 months ago. Yeah. Nine to 10 months ago, we did a a training uh, where we, we advised all of our new uh, reps and and trainers to set up a uh, contract to manage. And that's just where you just do a heart to heart and say, here's what you can expect from me. Here's what I expect from you. I'll be available an hour a week, 15 minutes a week, five minutes a week, whatever it is. We're not telling you how to manage your business, but just uh, you set that up with them. And then everybody knows up front, you know, what they can expect. And then you're one of the things we advise you to do and make sure that you understand the terms of agreement with the TW3, how they support you, what ticket support does, what it doesn't do. Because sometimes members will come in and they expect ticket support to offer from coaching. Ticket support's not there for coaching. <laughs> but I do offer coaching. Yeah, but we do offer coaching. Plug. <laughs> if you want technical coaching one-on-one yes. with Reagan, you can pay $25. And I will refer anybody that wants to come to you. I've had, to... uh, I've had what, r- good reviews. Everybody I've talked to you yeah. said they got something. Well, I, so I'm glad. And everybody at the conference that came just loved his, his It was coaching. so helpful. I sat in his session, and it was super-duper helpful. So if, if you're struggling with any of the technical stuff and your trainer – uh, is not able to help you to. <laughs> if, if your coach is Lindsay, oh she can't Lindsay. answer a technical question one. Then you can uh, take some uh, technical training from Reagan. It's it's a twenty five dollars for an hour, yep. and it's one. You are one of four people that he works with, and, and sometimes to, it is one on one, and sometimes just one on one because there's yep. not four people there. So yep. he offers awesome. that. But yeah, but that's the, the whole thing about contract to manage is basically you know you just showing this is what we do, this is what you can expect, blah blah blah. People are going to be upset because I feel like I can hear myself breathing into this mic. I apologize. It's because if that's... you're not holding it right. You have to angle it to the side. I just had it really close to my mouth because I'm a low speaker. You so. are a low speaker. But now you can. <laughs> like, it's probably been going on this whole time. I think Seinfeld says you're a low talker. Is that what it is? That's how he ended up with the puffy shirt because the lady asked him if he would wear this on the Tonight Show. So you're saying I'm Jerry Seinfeld. You're Jerry Seinfeld. Right. That's not a bad thing. Right. <laughs> She's a low talker. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, do you want to go over how our. Uh, residual income works and a tag on to that. Um, I need 5,000 a month. How long would it take if I work hard and smartly to get to that level? Well, uh, here's what I'd answer on your income about 5,000 a month. Uh, you're going to make anywhere from 750 to $1,500 with TW3 on your initial business that you write. Okay. It takes 25 qualified leads to make one sale on average. 
Okay. Your average commission is a thousand dollars. Okay. Even when you sell 1500, you sell some 750, you'll sell some that are a thousand, but in the, in the mix, you mix it all together. Normally a sale, no matter what it is, is usually averages out a thousand dollars when you mix all that together. Uh, if it takes 25 qualified leads to generate one sale, which is a thousand dollars, then that tells me you need to be doing the activity to generate probably about 35 qualified leads a week mm-hmm. to make that $5,000 income. Which is approximately one ad per large city. Per one week. and a half ads, yeah. 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 Depending on the quality of your funnel. Which... Depending on the quality of your funnel, the quality of your ad copy that we work with you on and all of that. Uh, and then if you're an elite member, you get residuals off of that. So as you start building your business, you get $50 for everybody you bring on and they stay on. Okay. Cause we want to incentivize you. And is this a good time to segue into the raise? Let's knock out questions first. And okay. we can do that. Okay. End on that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cause elite members are <clears throat> getting a raise. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's go through these really quickly. Um, what is the typical breakdown by percent of income from each income source? In other words, how much of the income earned is selling TW3 versus the other income opportunities? Well, initially it's a hundred percent of reselling yeah. initially. Right. But then it yeah. breaks out as you learn the process, you uh, start doing what's called RMP referral marketing business. And that's where you start giving books away. You start giving movie tickets away. You start generating leads for insurance companies and real estate companies. Yeah. You start doing all of these other things. You start creating an, if you're an elite member, an agency with various affiliate links and RPM, R, RMP links to where you get overwrites on that. That, process is takes a little time for some people mine is about 65 35 sales versus residual yeah um at this point in my and i've been doing it for less than a year which is unreal yeah (laughs) to think about but 65 35 is my breakdown and that is simply because with my hands in this plus homeschool plus my other business i have not even fully tapped the if potential of full, RMP. Yeah. If you did this full time, what would you make? There's no telling. Exactly. I mean, there's literally no telling. You're doing this an hour and a half a day. Yeah, I am. Because you're homeschooling, you got other responsibilities. And my other business, I mean, I've, I've certainly wrestled with this idea that like, obviously TW3 makes so much more money for so much less work. I just really love what I do in my other business. You've got something so. coming up tomorrow night. A Lindsay versus Lindsay. I do. I have a takeover. Do we want to plug that for you? <laughs> hey, if y'all want to come shop and buy some clothes, then um, let's see. Uh, just send me a friend request at Lindsay Taylor on Facebook, and I can add you to the event if you guys yeah, want to come shop. For all you TW3 uh, <laughs> family members, get over and support her. She's in a competition with some other lady, and I'd like to see her win. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. Cool. Um, I think that's the end of our. I'm, just beating the crap out of this mic. I think that's the end of our we'll questions. We'll trade back though. next week. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten more compliments on this shirt than anything I've worn on the podcast, though. What is Led it? Zeppelin. I can't even see it. It's Led Zeppelin. Well, I have to wear my shirt. Somebody said, uh, they said, Reagan, I saw Led Zeppelin. Sh- that's that Led Zeppelin show in Seattle, 1977, in front row. Although there were no front seats by the Sage, Bonzo was the best. That's super cool. That's, that is cool. I'm jealous of that as... A, well, isn't uh, the drummer your sort of... Oh, yeah, he's my hero. Hero growing up. Man. John Bonham's the man. John Bonham and his foot, man, that triplet pattern. <laughs> what's, what's the comedian that we like, the guy with the red hair? Uh, oh, I know who you're talking about. Bill Burr. Yeah, Bill Burr. He yeah. talks about learning drums at 30, and he's like, because that's a good way to spend your time is trying to be John Bonham at 30 years old. Because <laughs> he's talking about he like he broke his foot, essentially, trying to get as fast as John Bonham's triplet. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my word. But, yeah, I think uh, we wrapped up the questions if you want to go ahead and. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, for Since TW3's inception, elite members have always gotten residual off of each sale they made. So if Lindsay sold something to River, then when as River stays active in the business. Pray for me, by the way, if that ever happens. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you probably wouldn't sell to River just because the commission's not high enough. I love you, River. No. Nah. But if if Lindsay sells the River, then River stays in the business. He's paying $97 a month admin fees. Lindsay gets a uh, $50 residual off of that. So Because she's but, an elite member. Because she's an elite member. We Correct. only do that with elite members. Here's what we're going to do. 
when River goes out and makes sales, if if River wants to work out a deal with Lindsay and Lindsay works out a deal with River, then what could happen is River goes out and makes sales as a trainer as well. And uh he he sells to Reagan. He sells a package. Well, that member is gonna pay We're living in the worst reality. <laughs> I'm over here like, could I even do that? Yeah. Coach Reagan? So that $97 admin that now Reagan is paying for the sale that River made, what River can do is contact support and say, hey, I just sold this package. Give uh, my admin, because he's not uh, an elite member. He's he, an SRT. He's an SRT, or he's a plus, or he's whatever. Yeah. So he's not getting a, a residual anyway. Right. So he can then assign his business to you if you two agree to it Mm -hmm. and then so what it basically sets up for you Lindsay, is the ability for your entire agency that are not elite members Mm -hmm. to be able to assign their business to you so that you can help them manage their business so i can coach them and keep them on track exactly so now um you know for everybody that you've got in your agency that are plus in a uh, uh, regular sales rep and trainers then you say, hey, send me your, your book of business. Mm-hmm. I'll help you coach them for for the residual part. So now your ability to start building a residual bank has just exponentially grown. Absolutely. And uh, so we're, we're going to turn that on, and we'll get into more details about that Wednesday night in our training. And I'll have some sort of, uh, you know, mock-ups and graphics to sort of explain that. But cool. uh, so that because I know a lot of people are visual and need to understand that, but it's a way that you can basically grow your agency and help. And, and why are we doing that? Uh, because I'm losing, because part of our business is being able to that admin, because about 30 some odd dollars of that admin fee is cost. Mm-hmm. So when we split it and we're only getting 47, there's a thin margin of profit because everything else is going toward the hosting and the licensing and everything else. <clears throat> And so we like it when an SRT or a plus member sells because Mm -hmm. we get the full admin. So our profit margin is a little bit higher on that. So why would we do that? Why would we be willing to give that up? Because we're wanting uh, our members to have a better experience and have better coaching and have, uh, you know, we're trying to outsource even more of the the support and the coaching and stuff like that for our members to be able to get the help uh, that they need. So that's something that uh, we're doing. And so what that means is if you are not an elite member, then now's the time to, to maybe consider jumping on and, and getting on as an elite member because it's going to be a way to just be able to grow your uh, residual business even more. I can add something to this. Yes. Elite members, this is our chance. Yeah. This is our chance to really, really help people and teach them and coach them well so that they can be successful. I've, I've actually been like low key hoping that this would happen for a while because I really, really want people to succeed when they invest in this business. This business model is so cool right? if you give it a hundred percent, but some people, even if they give it a hundred percent without that little bit of guidance and handholding, they, they struggle. Right. So we can help them not struggle. Right. So elite members, like, it, let's it get it done. It frees you up as an elite member to go in and help your yes. agents be more successful by keeping yes. their clients happy. Let's get it done. So like, th- we can do this. Because I thought, what better uh, show to announce this on than our show about creating a business environment yeah. and culture that's more positive and more productive and more sca- uh, sustainable. I'm over the moon about this. Yeah, I just think, because, you, <laughs> you know, because uh, a lot... What you saw in my income statement, now keep in mind, I don't have near the margin on it as you guys do, mm-hmm. but a lot of that is just the residuals. So one of the reasons I can dress like a bum and talk like a redneck <laughs> and not get to, too excited because I know each month I've got X amount coming in, so I'm not struggling yep. every day right. and to make that next dollar, which is you know something I've never had in my life before. Mm. I've always, from a teenager in high school, had to hustle to make that commission and, and all that. So it's, yeah. a, it's a neat thing. Reagan, you got anything else you got up and left and then came back? I uh, just, I understand. Never mind. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> okay, guys, I did we get all the questions? I guess we did. So that, uh, um, sorry, I think there actually was one question I had missed. Let me try and find it here really quickly. Um, maybe not. Okay. Uh, if someone joins through the default site, can they be placed under a trainer? 
So if you don't have a trainer, you go to terrywilson3.com slash enroll. And what we do is we assign you one. Yep. Yeah. Um, can one, And more, by the way, I is just so you guys know, I do not sell directly to anybody. So I want to make that clear. If you don't put a, because uh, we get this a lot, put, someone will put Terry Wilson's name down or don't put a name down. If that happens, well, number one, we're going to look and see, well, where did that business come from? Have they been working with someone? And we try to figure that out. And if they haven't, then we assign them to a, yeah. um, a Lindsay slot machine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> slot uh, machine. Yeah. Just put it in, roll the thing, yeah. pull out the number. <laughs> what do you get? Hey, Smart. I'll get them coached. Uh, let's see. Can more than one? That being said, real quick, might be important to plug this. We do typically pick elite members. Oh yeah, we don't assign it, but to right. elite oh, members. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just something to throw. You're going to be set up with somebody who's going to be. And, able and let to me explain why. Well. Because the elite members have all the training, so there's not going to be a question that they right. can stump the band with. Yeah, they know everything. They know if if I know it, they know it. Yeah. Okay. So the to the level I know, they know. Sure. So they don't know everything. Um, they don't can, know how to read or spell. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they might not have my limitations. Yeah, see, if I, wait, I, <laughs> I would also say, and and maybe this is sorry. <laughs> You're kidding, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> you just threw a phone on the podcast. Oh, God, oh. it's late. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I would just say that, like, as far as elite members, a lot of us have a relationship with you to where if there is something that we're yeah. confused about, we we can jump on elite mastermind training and yeah. we can get it answered. Yeah. We're, we have a little bit more you access. You got a little bit of a fat, fast track, yeah. Cool. Uh, can more than one person advertise per city? Oh, yeah. I mean, you can. Nope. We block it. We <laughs> get on the internet there, and we there, stop it. There are no territories in this business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. And here's the reason. And it's a great, that's a great, because. It is a good question. But. I want to address that question because a lot of times that question is coming from the thought process that, uh, well, it could get diluted. It could get, uh, you know, uh too many TW3 members in one area, then no one. Well, here's the thing. If you're doing what we show you to do and train, which is have your own brand, have your own ad copy, because we show you how to make ad copy. We show you how to set up your site. You know, you never have to mention TW3. You can look distinctively your own self. So it should never get mm. to where um, it's being, <coughs> you know, too many. Saturated. <coughs> saturated. That's the word I was looking for, saturated. Because if if you have your own website, we're teaching you how to set up your own branding. We're teaching you how to set up your own ad copy. We're teaching you how to set up your own funnel. Then, uh, you know, there ought to be a way that you can look, you know, very distinguished between everybody else. Uh, if someone is at a lower level um, than the $1,500 package, which is plus. Plus. Or plus mm-hmm. um, That's the SRT. Can they become an elite? For fifteen hundred dollars, so essentially pay the difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whatever level yeah. you're at is the. Uh, so if you're on a, if you're an SRT, that means you came in at nine ninety seven. Elite is twenty nine ninety seven. It means you pay two thousand dollars more. Cool. And then I think I think I think I got everything. I feel your pain. I've not been using my laptop lately because it's too bulky. Just use my. I uh, so. did not have. Mm-hmm. You wanna. Strike. Wow. Strike. He already had his first strike. We all heard it. Strike yeah. two. I'm actually going to go back and listen just to see everybody, like, their eyes go, what? Excuse me? <laughs> For those I don't, of, I I don't disagree. Re- but I didn't realize I... I uh, you, you let a little... A little, little honesty come You out. dropped a little bomb. <laughs> I didn't realize. For those offended in You didn't mince words. I, I didn't mean to use some words I used in a few segments back. Well, I did mean it. I just didn't want to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Let's be honest before the Lord right Definitely now. Definitely <laughs> meant it. All right, guys. We'll talk to you guys later. Have a great uh, rest of the week. Uh, members, we've got a private training on Wednesday night, and then we're off for a couple of weeks. So come out uh, one and all, and we'll show you how to set up those affiliate links and how to build your affiliate business. Till next time. Thank you for listening to our show today at TerryWilson3.com. If you would like more information on how we can take your money, your business, and your life to the next level, then please visit us online at terrywilson3.com or call 800-673-1728. This is the Terry Wilson. Really? I'm excited, Terry. I, I want to get started here. Is this a celebrity, Terry Wilson? <laughs> oh, my word. How you doing, sir? Dude, oh, don't, don't even go there. I've been listening to this for a while, and I'm finally like, okay, God, what a privilege. I mean... 